All right, guys, in the previous session, we learned about the unless helper, which kind of show you it's the opposite of the if statement itself, the if helper. I'll definitely check it out. There's a link on the top right corner over here, so definitely make sure you check it out. But anyhow, long story short is today, we're gonna be learning about a different helper. And this helper, it's going to be uh, a whole different ways of using it. Now, let's send some data down to our dashboard.handable and the data that we're going to send is something called uh it's it's just author itself and within this author we're gonna send the first name and the first name is going to be peter and then we're gonna also send you know some sort of last name as james cool so the the name the thing that we are sending it's author first name and last name which is you know all that we are sending now we are sending this over the dashboard handlebar and I, if i head over the dashboard handlebar itself and i'm right here now the way this helper works once again any helper you need to have the pound sign and the width the name of the helper and then you need to make sure that you close it with the name of the helper like so all right so this helper here takes the author variable that's coming in which is this is the author variable right here now the cool thing about this helper how it works is you can also set up some sort of once you access the author object then you instantly get also access to anything that is inside this object for example what is inside this object right now it's this first name and last name that is inside the object of author so with the with helper once we access the author we can instantly get access to the first name like so and also get access to the last name as well like so so i could say my name is like that and let's actually start the server and see what happened all right refresh this and ladies and gentlemen as you guys can see and now with the with helper i'm able to access anything that is inside the author object by just doing with the author and then once I do with author, I'm instantly able to access element that's inside of it. Cool. So the only thing that you can do with the with helper, guys, is having something like this where you do as, and you can set up your own custom variable for to refer to the main object itself. For example, in our case, we got the author, which is this entire object that's coming in. Well, we can kind of set up a custom variable or to refer to things a little bit further inside this object. For example, we can set it to X. Now, if we wanna get access to the name, we need to do X dot first name. And the same for last name, we do X dot last name as well. And if we refresh this, we should still see the same behavior. But let's say we had we added something a little bit deeper, for, like something like, you know, a project, and we can say name and we can call this one project one or maybe we build some sort of like you know random quote whatever this was projects like something a little bit deeper inside this object well what you could do with the with statement which is very flexible it also allow you to refer to this custom variable where you can do uh, x dot which is the project name so we refer within something inside this projects it's actually project and then we go even deeper by accessing the name we can do that name so i could do like my first project was blah 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 and go back again and as you guys can see it get access to the value that is that is inside of it once again it's very very easy to kind of work with it moving forward but understanding how it works if you did not want to have the custom variable of course you can delete it and now you just need to access it by the name like this but here instead of doing x dot project name you just need to do project dot name whichever one is comfortable with you but the width um and the with helper is really really helpful whenever you work with some sort of you know some sort of long nested objects just to kind of get the first level element inside of it cool all right guys the next thing that we're going to cover which is going to be quite interesting it's our last helper it's called each helper